Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial guys. Today we are back here. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a UV map for vehicles in Roblox. It's not that hard. Um, so let's just get on with it, shall we? Alright guys, really quickly, just really for a second. Um, the UV map thing that I'm getting everything from, I will link below if I have permission. Um, but otherwise, if I don't have permission, I'm sorry, I will not be able to link it. But otherwise, uh, there's plenty of other ways to get UV maps. So I just want to get that out here, but... Jump, let's go back into the tutorial. Alrighty everyone, so I'm here on um, on this UV map, Google Drive, and it's just got quite a few UV maps actually. Um, so yeah, quite a few on here. Um, if I'm allowed to link it, don't know if I am, but um, if I am, I'll link it below. But otherwise, I'm there's other ways to get it. But um, anyway, so, Today we're actually going to be re we're actually going to be doing a not Ford Tahoe Ford Tahoes don't exist you numpty. um Chevy Tahoes for this Chevy Tahoe here um and we're also going to be doing quite a quite a little stuff here to this Chevy Tahoe as well um original car model by the Ford Interceptor uh, all car model credits go to the Ford Interceptor here on this one so Anthony Vargas Anthony Avion Vargas thank you very much uh your cars are absolutely beautiful. So, um, anyways, uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted Google Chrome. So I'm actually pretty sure this is gonna. This is a 2015 Tahoe. So let me just have a look here. I'm pretty sure I've actually already got a um 2015 UV installed. Not installed, but downloaded. Um, I don't know if that's the right one. Because there's different ones, and you want to make because and you want to make sure that you get the right one. Um, so there's two. Can't remember that one or not. Because I remember I tried it once, and I had a complete temper tantrum. Well, we'll just get on with make the making process of it of the um thing right now. So, I recommend using the software Paint.net when making um vehicle UV maps. Um, it's the best to do. So yeah, I'm gonna do open with Paint.net. Now this is actually this is sort of a process, but not really. Um, depending on your patience level. Um, let's close Twitter here. Thank you. To, no, close. Twitter, close. Or not very slow today. Is it opening? Uh, task manager. All right. Uh, can you can you not? You just you just unserve deafen yourself. Stop. Can you not? Bro, if you're server deafen, you're server deafen for a reason. Server deafen yourself again. Sorry, I'm actually in a voice chat with I Hate School or Caden. Um, and he just unserved for himself. Caden, don't do that again. <laughs> um, Alright. No. Alrighty. So, the base car, um, the base color of the car. So, but, blah, 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 blah. now you've just got me all stuffed up, Caden. Um, anyways, guys. So, what we're going to start off with here is the coloring. Um, I'm just, I usually do a box here. Excuse my language on this one. I have no clue what's going on. Oh, there we go. Now it's working. Um, so I've got a few color palettes over here. Actually, I've got this blue here, and that's the color of my game of the department of the police department. Um, but instead of actually doing that, because this is right here, I'm actually we're gonna have to use a brush. Um, I usually just use um, rectangles, but this time we have to use a brush, just so it won't get on that. That's something that you really want to make sure about and be cautious about, is make sure that um, like that it won't get on any of the parts. Like so here, it doesn't matter if the blue's gonna get on this like the other side of the Tahoe here because it's like I want the base to be um blue. But um, actually I sort of oh I just remembered I actually need this to be blue, don't I? <laughs> Big brain. Oh, no, no I don't. 
What? I know. Hang on a minute. Let me think here. Also, I make a new layout. Everything you're gonna do here. So, if I wanna, I'm gonna color this beat, this this beats, this bit in here, these bits here. Make sure that you have got it selected on a different layout all the time. Just because the um frame of it and all that. That's all. So, yeah, this is this has to be blue. This little bit here. So I switch back to the layout. Alrighty. Alright, Caden, I'm turning off the screen share because it's actually sort of lagging the recording here. There you go. There, that's a bit better. And my night light on my laptop's just turned on because it's just ticked over to nine o'clock. Hopefully my Wi-Fi won't turn off. Time off. Caden, can you still hear me? Just type type in DMs if you can hear me. Epic. I'm pretty sure my Wi-Fi is set to be ten o'clock tonight. <laughs> um, alrighty guys. So yeah, but now that that's that that I'm just gonna turn off visibility for this layer. Um, that can go because I can just conjoin that on the bit. I can see it in the bottom right here of it. Um, bottom right here, thing. Um, little display. Sorry, I'm really tired. Um. All right, so new layer. Now we're gonna do the same, but instead I'm gonna set the color to be gray, um, because that's the new color scheme for my game, for the police team on my game. So. Oh, that's why. There we go. Let me just leave the voice chat maybe off the group call. That might work. Um, lol. I'm on my phone, I was still in the group chat call. So y'all may be like, but what about the text? Um, if you are, don't know if you are actually, but that's what I'm saying, I'm thinking you are. But um, I will be showing you guys how to make the text in a second. There we go, so if we just do this now. It's a bit, bad. It's a bit messy at the moment, but it'll be cleaned up in the end. Alright, there we go. So that's like that. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're doing the text now. So new layer. Uh, now, choose what font you want. I usually go impact because it's the easiest one um, and the most, more, well, not easiest, but it's the one that suits it more. And I, depending on what the vehicle is, um, obviously, but I can always just resize the text, so... Um, I need the color to be white for the text. Um, alrighty, so italics, county, sheriff. Then we just select it, M to resize. So see what I mean here? Um, so I'm just going to get this all lined up here. Copy that, and then new layer, control V paste, and then drag this up here, about there, seems about right, yep, um, so that's like that, so now you can just replace this, so I'm going to do 5 in, oh, 6, 7, we'll do 7 there. Just recentering it all. There we go, seven. So paint.net is the best um one to go with for making car wraps in my opinion. And um or Photoshop. Photoshop works too. Anything that you can really just add layers and all that. I don't really recommend doing paint 3D and all that and just normal paint. Um no offense to anyone that uses it, but it's just in my opinion not that good for this type of stuff. 
um, but it's up to you in the end of the day. But this is what I recommend, and a lot of people recommend either Paint.net or Photoshop. Um, alrighty, so that's that's the county sheriff text done. I'm gonna do on the side here. Call nine one one. This is really weird because I'm an Australian doing an American vehicle. We don't have Tahoes and Suburbans and all that stuff over here in Australia. I wish we did. I'd love to, but we don't. Because that's General Motors for you. Alright, so we're going to paste that. Bring this back down here. Line it up. There we go, like that. Um, what else can we do? Caden, do you reckon we put the logo on it? DM me your response. Next time, DM me your response. Legit, if you're server muted, you're server muted. Don't undo it. Alrighty, so... Open... Desktop. I've got so much stuff on my laptop. There we go. So normally I really only put the staff cars, the uh, logo on the staff cars, but because why not? It's a tutorial. So I'm actually just going to rotate it, and we will do it like this. We shall actually put it on the roof of it, of the car. That's about centered, and then we're just going to... But we also have to keep in mind about light bars too, so this is the front of it, this is about the center. But actually no, this is a slick top, never mind. <laughs> Lol, this is a slick top, isn't it? <laughs> dum dum. <laughs> um, alrighty. Now, I would usually put unit numbers, but don't know if I want to, so we won't do that, but... So, you, my usual wraps get up to about 15 layers, some of them, but this one probably won't, but I'm going to put MCSO, more County Sheriff's Office. So, if it's, like, this pixelated, um, like, in the viewing of this, it will be that pixelated in-game, like, because the game is like, got to zoom it up a bit more. Um, it's a bit annoying, I know. Yeah, let me actually just show you guys one really quickly that I've got. I did a Mustang. If you guys follow my Twitter page, I uploaded it not long ago, actually, like about 30 minutes ago, not even. Um. Have I not uploaded the Mustang yet? I would have sworn I've uploaded it. Here it is. It was like back here for some reason. Here, see, so. Oops. When the wrap load, when it's loaded in. So, see what I mean? It's sort of pixelated. That's what it's going to be like. And then if we come over to like the RAM here, because the UV map on the RAM is bigger, it's not as pixelated, where this on the other hand just sort of is. So that's something you sort of want to keep in mind, um, but yeah. So, that's actually sort of it. Um, I might just put another MCS on the other side, and I'll see you guys when it's to the point of saving and all that. I will see you guys at that point. Alrighty guys, so now that's really that part done. Um, we just have to enable the visualization. Visualization. <laughs> Whatever. Of that so now as you can tell there's actually these parts um sort of empty parts here so what I'm just gonna do is just go to background and you can just color the empty parts in and now what you want to do oh it's gonna trigger the hell out of me I don't know if we can actually have the logo not gonna lie sorry no logo <sighs> 
Um, all right, so now that that's like that, Control Shift F, you want to flatten it. All right, so it just looks like that at the moment. File, save as. I'm going to save it as Tahoe um, S dot O because the file can't be as S slash O. Um, yep, MC, yep. Alrighty, so now you want to you do, you want to come to Roblox here. You want to go to the Create tab, right? You want to go to the Create tab. Alright, so here, de decals. <laughs> I'm so tired. Decals! I've got, like, all of this is freak. All my recent decals was just freaking UV map templates, dead set. That's all it is. UV maps, UV maps, and then it just goes into other random stuff. <laughs> Choose file. Then you want to find the uh, whatever you called it. So for me, it would be um. Where is it? Here it is, Tahoe S dot O. Cross fingers, this is actually like the right one. So now what we need to call, now what we need to do is hang on a minute. Um This better be the right freaking this better be the right file, I swear to god. Um alrighty. So um Call it. Should just do Tahoe Sheriff. Upload. And if this is the wrong um thing, like the wrong um the uh, wrong UV map for the vehicle, I will just actually gra gra grab a different one out of my inventory, and I'll just put it on a different car to show you guys how to do it, or you can just watch how to do it here. But um, you just want see this code up here? Control C or copy, right click to copy. Studio, alright, whatever all of your vehicles are. Now you're gonna want properties and explorer. How to enable these? You go to file up, I mean, view up the top, and you want to click explorer and properties. Um, then you come here to the side here and you find whatever it's called. Um, for me, it's obviously um, here. This is the name of it GM Chevy Tahoe. Then you want to come down here, model or whatever your main body thing is, um, and you want to select. See really black there. Now shift there. Texture ID. I still have a feeling this is going to be the wrong type of UV map. I still have a big feeling about it. Give it a few seconds. Hey, it's not. There we go. Guys, that is how you make a successful UV map for a car in Roblox. Um, yeah, that's basically it. That's uh, if you want to see more tutorials on how to do stuff with police cars, I'm actually also getting in the dig of uh, doing police cars now. But if you guys want to see some more stuff on doing police cars, please do let me know. Smash that like button um, and other things like that. But now, for now, guys, I am Buddy One Buddy, what? I'm now, I am Buddy One Seven O Seven. Signing off, guys. Leave me some feedback description down below. Um, these type of things. They're pretty fun sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, um, they can go one way or the other, um, <laughs> so, yeah, but like I said, leave some feedback, join the Discord server, linked down below, actually, is where I will drop a link, um, to the Discord server, description down below is where you'll find it, um, so, yeah, thank you so much for being a part of this tutorial, guys. However, I am Buddy1707, signing off. See you guys. Have a good one. Stay safe.